Hello, boys and girls, my name is HotSST and welcome back to Factorium, where our first train with space science has arrived. So, the next step of uh, research is kicking in. And as with uh, uh, space science, these stack to uh, 2000 instead of uh, 200. So that's why I did limit the, the cargo wagon so that each train carries the same amount of, um, of science packs. And if we look at the, um, the production for science, I think the lowest one is yellow science so that here at the top and 5.5 that's not much 5.5 per minute that's really not much so uh, let's see what the reason for that might be I can see empty belts uh, looks like we had a shortage of iron here, or iron ore. Yeah, here we're missing iron ore. Um, here we are good. But looking at the iron ore we have... 20 stations to deliver iron ore and we have only eight trains doing the delivery and with some train loading stations um, almost run out like this one here the train really sits a long time there um, until it it fills up so maybe what we do is have a train here, have a train there, copy and send it off. And maybe add three trains. Ah, oh, yeah, and then of course destinations might be full or not yet have enough ore to um, to accept uh, another train okay and then let's add another one and send that one off as well and with that hopefully we should see a bit of an increase in in the production if we can supply uh, enough iron uh, to our uh, factories but even this here, uh, which is an iron field we put in uh, relatively recently, you can see from the amount that it once covered, it has shrunk. So we have um, 2.7 million in here. So maybe we should think about where we have more iron ore fields. We have one up here. We also have this starter patch here. Um, probably if we uh, let this this out here, um, the rail network, we could harvest a good portion of this. I mean, there is not that much iron ore in there. It's not particularly dense, but 
getting this out of the way and then also the, the copper uh, will free up this space so uh, we can build something on it. So while we're waiting uh, to see that these uh, three additional chains have a lasting impact on our production, I will add a few more rails um, to the to the system um, so we can uh, have um, a regular build going on there. Looking at the iron ore station for the yellow suns we can see we are still not there yet. We would like to see uh, those being uh, blue, I think, which would indicate there is enough material in the chest, so no train needs to come. But if we look at our uh, loading stations, there we can see um, that's not looking so good. So that's why I want to try and set up uh, a mining uh, field here. Um, and we will do this with this one. Um, we'll do it like that. We then have to consider that we have to get uh, these out of the way and we get a bit of uh, a copper ore here as well. So to deal with that let's have a filter here where we sort out the copper. Put that on the right side. Uh, have that like this. And then like so. And these are just finishing cooking up uh, the, the iron or the, the ore that's still in there. Once we have those uh, sorted out, um, we can get rid of those as well. Then here on this side, of course, maybe let's clear space out a bit. And down here that's probably where we will have our loading um, we have three output and uh, we will find ourselves something in here we'll do the job nicely Right. These also have to go. And then we want to get on the track here. Like so. train station then let's see if we can that was another rocket um, loading station this layout
then just bring this together. And power. And then here we can have a bit more. Let's clean some trees out here and have maybe a waiting bay for two trains. Let's see if we can manage to get that around here or if we would have it from down here and then here on this side. I will figure that one out. The iron ore situation is looking a bit better as we have a train sitting here and here. Uh, one missing there. Um, so overall, at least at the moment, we have dealt with the problem. But this iron ore field will not last forever. It's it's really tiny, half a million. Uh, while down here we have seven million, uh, three million. Uh, so eventually we will have to add yet another iron ore patch to the system. But another thing we have to deal with that we have postponed here are the used fuel cells. And as you can see, we almost have a full steel chest um, uh, of it. So we will do that here on this side, um, which means we need a long handed insert there. And then output we will put it here on this belt which feeds into that one there and small power pole does the trick and well here let's have a look at uh, our power consumption we are, I would say, a bit under two thirds uh, from what we can have, and that's with the uh, the, the nuclear power plant, uh, but also the uh, the coal power plant, which eventually will stop working once we have no more coal here and here on this side. Coal is also dwindling. We have quite a bit of coal here in the middle between the two lines. So we will have to, to uh, figure out how we can mine that part as well. Because it's quite dense in here. And then eventually we will need another ore field um, or coal field. I think this one down here is the closest that we have, um, aside from the mini amount that we have still in here. But yeah, that's another thing checked off our, our list, and uh, we're making progress with the uh, with the uh, mining productivity so that should help as well with producing more ore uh, out of the of the remaining patches so I guess we will let this run a bit and then have another check up to see if we need to add another ore patch or maybe a, a even copper because this is our main copper supply and uh, not sure if that one patch is is sufficient because this one up here that's pitiful i can see a definite improvement on this station we don't even need any iron ore more anymore here we have a train sitting 
there we are waiting for a train so compared to the beginning where we had three stations waiting for trains that's an improvement and i think the only way to further uh, improve that is we uh, slap more resources at the problem and that's why i have expanded here a bit so we can hook up this iron ore patch as well because if we have enough ore loading stations then the the trains should always find a, a station where there is enough ore to load uh, and not have situations where they're sitting at the delivery stations waiting for any ore stations um, to fill up so they can pick up the iron ore and that's true for iron ore and probably also for for copper uh, also for copper i don't see that uh, uh, much of a strain at least at at present uh well, we will we will see uh where we go once we have sorted out the uh the the shortages that we have or that we see for the yellow science so i will add an iron ore patch here and then uh, we are done with this episode um, respectively i will say goodbye to you at this point because uh, we have seen quite a few set up of uh, ore patches along the way and we will for sure see more further down the line. Until next time, goodbye!